Welcome back to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today we're going to edit a photo of a flower that's a little bit abstract. Now, I have no idea what I want to do with this image other than the fact that I think that this image is cool because it looks like this flower is floating in midair, but I assure you it is attached to the bush that I photographed it on. It's just so blurred out that I can't even see it. Now, if I come over here to the info, you can see I'm shooting this at 200th of a second, f4.5, and I was using a 105 macro lens. That's how I was able to get close to this. 4.5, it does blow out the background enough, and I think that it's good to go. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and hit this with some Brilliance AI. I think Brilliance AI will work quite well, and you can see that it's already been applied. So I'll just go ahead and pull this down. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit tone and color where I want to start is with the camera profile. I want some more vivid colors in this image overall. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cycle through these, um, and figure out which one I like the best. So I actually like, I like camera portrait for this one. I just, I just like how it brightens everything up. That's the one that stands out to me and I'm going to go with that. Now I can see some imperfections in the image. I have this big smudge right here. I have this little uh, smudge up here at the top and then there's one over here. So I'm going to come over to my left tool pane and I'm going to grab the healing brush. I think that's what this is called. I always get it messed up. Yeah. Healing brush. And I'm just going to paint over this little area. It's going to sample something just off to the side. And that does a pretty good job for what I need it to do. So I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to make my brush just a little bit smaller. Paint over this area right here. And then it's going to sample the wrong area. I'm going to grab this little green box drag this over into the bokeh ball that matches the same area that I'm trying to correct. And that comes out pretty good. And then the same thing, this should sample something that's pretty good. Uh, and I think that that'll be all right. So now I've gotten rid of all of those distractions and I can focus more on what I want to do with the image. And by all means, this could be where you stop with this particular image because I mean coming from this and getting to this is actually pretty good and maybe you just come to effects and you hit add and you just throw a border on here because I like throwing borders on my images uh, it helps frame the overall subject that's happening and so something like that I think looks really really cool so with a border, a simple border, you can get very far in an edit. And I think that this looks pretty good. Now, I will take it a step further and just add in a sunshine filter because I think that this is a ton of fun. I love adding this filter into my images. I'm just going to warm up the entire image and then we'll increase the amount of the sunshine. And I think that that looks pretty good. And now that I'm on this idea, maybe adding in a sun flare, because sometimes this just adds a nice little touch to the image. I enjoy doing this. It's just for fun, right? Um, so we'll go with that and maybe just reduce it, reduce the overall opacity of this sun flare. And you can see it, it just adds some nice little character to the overall image. If I turn it off and turn it back on, you can see how that sun flare is just helping accentuate the flower just a bit. Um, and I think that that is all that I would do to this particular image. So if I hold down the backslash key, you can see the before and the after. 
So all I did was some basic edits and I got an image that I really enjoy. So hopefully you found some value in today's content. If you did smash the like button and if you want to learn more about online photo raw, you can definitely search my channel here on YouTube. But I think one of the best ways is to sign up for a training call with me. You can do so at the link in the description box below. Now, if you want to save some money when you're shopping over at the on one website, consider using my coupon code freewillphotos20. I do make a commission off of everyone who uses that coupon code, but it's at no extra cost to you. So it's a win-win in multiple ways. If you got questions, leave it in the comment section below. And until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.